How's it going everyone? Jake XVX here. We're back on Forza Horizon 4 and 5 today. Sort of a bit of both. Today is Thursday, which is very weird for a Torben Tuesday video. We all know what Torben Tuesday is. It is the day of the month where we get given clues as to what's in the next Horizon 4 update. In this case, the clues were actually released on Wednesday. So this isn't a Torben Tuesday. This is a Warben Wednesday. But yes, as usual, we have been given an image which includes clues as to what new cars and features and whatever is going to be in the update 37, which releases for Forza Horizon 4, presumably next week sometime. We can presume that the live stream confirming what's in the update will be next week sometime. So all of this is sort of a, a guessing thing as what's going to be in the update. We also have some Forza Horizon 5 news after this as well. If this video does help you out guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to be smashing out news videos and update videos, everything to do with every kind of Forza game. Let's get into it. So here is the image in question. As you can see, there's not much going on, but we have got some clues on the whiteboard as usual as to what we're going to see in the update. So if we zoom in, let's have a look at what we've got. Now we're going to start with on the right of the ball, which seems to house a compass and a word above it. Now I'm going to say off the bat my pronunciations are going to be terrible so bear with me. But yes we seem to have a compass which only seems to mark north on the top and then on the east or where east would be there's a tick. So that seems like it's pointing us towards east of some sort and above that we have the word Guanajuato. No idea how to pronounce that but Believe it or not, people have found out that Guanajuato looks like a city name, and it is a city name. If you Google this, this is actually a place in Mexico. Now, lots of people are saying, oh, maybe this is just a hint towards what's going to be in the Forza Horizon 5 map. Are we getting some features that's in the real life Guanajuato City? You know, is it going to be sort of a replica? Well, that's certainly a possibility. Maybe they're hinting towards, you know, features of what's going to be in the Horizon 5 map. However, some other people have noticed this. There is a place to the east of Guanajuato, which is called Vol Automotive. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that they are a car manufacturer, believe it or not. And it's towards the east of this place, which adds up to why the compass says east. Now, what car does this company make? The Vol Automotive. 05. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but interesting. So that's another thing that people are speculating as well, that towards the east of Guanajuato, there's a automotive company that called Vol Automotive, which produces the Vol 05. Is, and it's a Mexican car as well. So, I mean, it would add up with a Mexican theme that's happening lately. Now, on the left of the board, we have just some simple text, which seems to say coming soon. And then below that, it says soon and then in a in or after a short time, which is basically the definition of soon. Now, this could mean a mountain of things. However, people have noticed that obviously we're still waiting on the Super 7 high stakes feature to be added to the game. It's been coming soon for a very, very long time now. And people are saying that this is finally the indication that the Super 7 high stakes feature is coming in the next update, hopefully. What's really getting people keen on this is because if you look closely, the word short is it's underlined several times as if they really want to tell you that this is coming in a very short time. It's coming soon. And I believe in the Super, Second, Super 7 high stakes feature in game, it actually does say coming soon on the actual icon that's greyed out. So it makes sense. Are we going to see the Super 7 high stakes feature come in the next update next week? We'll have to wait and see what it does does seem like they're hinting towards something coming soon. A few other things that people have said about this, a few people have said that because we're getting Super 7 and it's update 37, that we may be getting some cars with the number seven in. There are two cars of which are on the leaked car list which do this, the Lincoln, Lincoln Continental Mark 7 and the Aston Martin DB7 Zagato. Could we be seeing them added to the game along with Super 7? Because it's update 37, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I've seen a couple of people say this. Um, you never know. Playground games kind of like their themes, you know. They stick to a theme every month. So maybe it's a seven theme. No idea. 
Now this does seem to be everything in the image. There's no more hints or anything that's coming in the next update. Now I don't believe there's anything we can guess either. However, there is something else I'd like to talk about which is very exciting. Car sounds. We all know that the car sounds on Forza Horizon 4 could be a lot better and it's been one of the biggest complaints about the game since release, in my opinion. It's just been one of the one of the downsides of the game is the car sounds haven't been amazing. They've not been bad, but they've not been amazing. Now, something people were asking for in Horizon 5 were better car sounds. Please give us better car sounds. Well, we have some information on that. This is from Playground Games themselves. I quote, we have invested significantly in car sounds in Forza Horizon 4, and we're excited to share more info about this in the future stay tuned this is just music to my ears the fact that they have they said they have invested significantly into car sounds into Fort 2005 shows that they know it's been an issue it's been one of their downfalls uh, or you know bad size of the game i say bad they're not bad they just could be a lot better you know Fort horizon's fantastic we want fantastic car sounds as well so this is very good to see you know we don't know exactly how much better they're going to be we have heard a few cars in the gameplay we've got for horizon 5 already but we don't know exactly how good they are because there was music going on in the background and stuff like that however as they said they are excited to share more about this in the future so i'm sure at some point down the line before horizon 5 is released and maybe before we get new gameplay whenever that's going to happen we are going to hear more about you know what's happening with the car sounds what have they changed have they changed the system have they got new designers we'll have to find out but Fort 2005 is going to have better car sounds if car sounds are a big thing to you then you're gonna like my channel because i live off car sounds and anything car sound related comes straight on the channel so stay tuned for that but yes that's what we have for Fort 2005 today but Fort 2004 we've also talked about everything as well so to sum it up we may see the a vehicle from the Vul Automotive car manufacturer in Mexico, which is to, to the east of Guanajuato, shown on the whiteboard. Or this could just be a hint towards what's possibly on the new Horizon 5 map. You know, something east of that city might be on the Horizon 5 map. I don't know. I'm just throwing all possibilities here. We'll have to wait and see. But it is worth noting that some of the cars in the Vul Automotive collection have been in Forza Motorsport 7 before and are Mexican so it adds up maybe we're seeing some cars from there and then obviously we have the coming soon section which seems to be possibly hinting towards the super 7 high stakes feature finally coming soon very soon next week or whenever we get the update and then there's the talks of maybe them sticking to the 7 theme and giving us a few other cars with the number 7 in which are on the leaked car list so you never know we'll have to wait and see but yeah, guys, that's what we have for today's Warburn Wednesday or Torben Tuesday. And we slipped in a bit of Forza Horizon 5 information as well. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content and 5 content. And I'll see you all later.